hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's eki if it's your first time seeing me you're welcome to this video it's a nose chiseling i'm going to be contouring my nose if you like this video give it a thumbs up share with friends and don't forget to subscribe here and also ring the bell so you don't miss new videos stay tuned because we're going right into this video okay guys we are back with another video okay today i'm going to be chiseling my nose i'm doing a nose contour today but first i'm going to be foundationing my face so i'm going in with this primer from Rimmel. this does four functions control shine minimizes pores hydrate the skin and also smoothing out the skin so i'm going to be priming my face or my skin with this i've already oh my god i just jeez this is way too much guys be careful if you are taking this out from the tube just be careful see how much i brought out from there and definitely i can use all of them i'm working the primer into my skin i've already cleaned my skin with my solar cleansing water before now I'm working that into my skin. Go in with this Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. I want to blow my pores more. I'm smoothing this out. Next, I'll be using my Maybelline Super Stay in 330 and 362. I'll be mixing both as usual for my skin. I took two pumps of this and also tiny drop of this not up to one point a pump okay I missed something I am going to go in with this Nuban Beauty liquid highlighter on my face because I love to glow and I almost forgot that imagine imagine that i'm putting that at the highest point of my face we're going in with my foundation now i'm using this brush from city color in fo6 as usual to swipe the foundation all over my face so i'll just be going like so I like to use this brush to apply my foundation because I feel it layers it well before I go in with my blending sponge so that's the reason I love using this to blend out or apply the foundation on my skin first okay i'm done layering my foundation i'm blending using my beauty sponge from magic professional i'm not swiping tap the foundation into your skin with your beauty sponge or your brush whichever one that you prefer to use but i love applying my foundation with a brush and then just push it in with a beauty sponge this just help the foundation to sit well and nice on the skin and also the beauty sponge help to take off excess products that you must have applied using the brushes I always love the finished look of using beauty sponge okay i'm done blending out my foundation the next thing i'll be doing is to go in with this concealer from ella girl this is fun it's like two shade or even one lighter than my skin tone so i'll just be applying it here it's like one skin tone lighter than me then i'll be going on the bridge of my nose with that same concealer next i'll be using the ferrucci 
concealer I'll be using this shade here for my under eyes as well I'll be applying that right in my inner corner of the eyes this is because I want this area to I want light to hit this more air this area more I'll be adding that concealer here and a little bit here on my forehead and a little here because that is too close the foundation oh uh, sorry the concealer I applied earlier was too close to my skin tone so I just want to bring more light to those areas I'll start blending with my beauty sponge and then I'm blending my forehead as well I like to use a small brush like this to blend out the highlight on my nose so I'm just stapling that I'm not swiping so I'm blending out my under eyes right now I love or I prefer to blend my under eye last okay I'm done blending the next thing is to set so I was setting using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and this brush here this is an angle brush I usually use this to contour my face do my contour but I also use it to high uh, to set my highlights this is a um, city color from this is from city color f04 setting from here and then I go to the inner corner so I'm setting all the areas that I highlighted this is to keep the concealer that I applied in place and prevent it from moving okay it's time to chisel the nose I am going to be contouring the nose so we are going to have a chisel nose without any knives or blades okay I'll be using the Maybelline fit me powder in 340 cappuccino and then i'll be using this this very one is darker than this so i'll be using both of them for my nose contour so this one is um sincerely i don't know what the name of this product is but i'll be leaving it on the screen so you see i'll be using this brush from city color in e03 I don't know if you've seen that she's a small angle brush I'll be using this to contour my nose so I'm doing a powder contour I am NOT going to be doing a cream contour I'm starting from my brow line here from the tip here then I'm just bringing that all the way down All the way down I like my nose contour to be faint so that's the reason why I'm using the 340 cappuccino from Maybelline just to make my nose contour faint a bit but I like it a little bit darker in this area than here so I'll be deepening that with the other powder I showed earlier so I'm doing the same thing on this side I'm just starting from here then I'm bringing it down to the tip of my nose exactly this contour is 
very very simple to do to contour is to hide while highlighting is to bring out so wherever you want the light to hit your face that is where you put your highlight and wherever you want to cast a shadow out that is where you put your contour so in this area you want this area to be hidden so that here will be pronounced so that bring the pointy nose that you usually see the closer you bring the contour the thinner your nose becomes so that's the whole idea for nose contouring dipping my brush into the dark shade of powder I'm tapping off the excess and then going into this area with that because I want this area to be a little bit darker this is a, a personal preference if you like you can do this or you just leave it the way it was earlier with the first powder but I just want this place to be a little bit dark so that my contour here will be a little more pronounced so I'm just taking that and feathering that out to my brow lines just to give it a more contour effect so the second powder I applied is actually optional you mustn't do that it's just that i'm just trying to add some serre to it okay so you can just leave it the way it was earlier okay guys we are done with the nose contour so i'm going to be baking this area and as well using the powder to catch any fallout that will be coming from my eyeshadow okay i'll be doing a quick one on my eyes so i'm going to be using this uh, i'll be using the fit me powder i used earlier in contouring my nose to transition transition color just helps to blend out your lid color properly without a demarcation to do a very quick eyeshadow nothing too serious but you know sometimes you say a quick one but before you know you start applying different colors on your eyes but i'll try to keep it as simple and quick as possible i'll be using this blush from classic cosmetic as my lead color this is their orange color and i'll be using this blending brush this is a regular brush to apply this on my lid just stapling that on my lid just to get the desired pigment that I want I went back to that dark powder to give some depth to the outer corner of my eyes just like so I'm using the early pride oil controlling palette powder I'm using the medium and ebony so I'm mixing both of them yeah I'm a mixer so I'll be using that to dust off the excess powder that I applied I lighten my face using the number beauty the glow palette I'm going in with the star struck first to build my highlights and then I'll be going in with the bezeled so I'm done with my face I'll be setting using the hydrating mist from flawless ivy So I'll leave that to dry. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and also subscribe. Okay? Leave a comment down below and also stay tuned. Stay blessed and stay beautiful till I come your way next time. Bye guys.